Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tansri Tansri, Dato Dato. I will start with five pages uh, presentation on HSBC history. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure if I do that, people will sleep already. No, uh, I will not uh, uh, talk about the slide because uh, surprisingly, uh, the slide contents is more or less uh, almost the same with all the other presenter on economic and all those. When we were invited by MPOC basically to have a discussion, uh, it was only came with one question, how to sell more palm oil to China? That was the question that was being raised to us. So uh, we were having a discussion with uh, several uh, customers who is in palm oil industries basically what's the challenge uh, in, 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 in selling uh, palm oil uh, to China? And generally, what they were saying is at the moment it's just because of the threat, not the threat, the, 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 the substitute product from soya bean, which is uh, 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 somehow uh, it's cheaper and, and because of the uh, uh, bumper crop, then somehow it flooded the market in China. So uh, the question is then uh, how to sell more palm oil from Malaysia compared to the other producer, right? The, 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 what, what we found uh, as, uh, as interesting is uh, most of the palm oil buyers from China will ask for credit terms, right? Because uh, uh, financing costs in China is quite expensive. So while, while in Malaysia, because of the liquidity of the banking sector, practically uh, it's very competitive pricing. But the question remains, if you do your transaction in renminbi, okay, why, why we want to do uh, our transaction in renminbi? Uh, in China itself, when, 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 you, when the buyer need to do transaction in US dollar, not every buyer can do that because they need approval, this and that, you know, to, to be able to transact in US dollar. And then the most important restriction is uh, when the buyer issue the LC in foreign currency, in this case it's US dollar, they have a limitation of 90 days credit. Well, well generally, the longer credit that you can provide, the better it is, right? So uh, hence the, 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 the talk that maybe uh, we should sell in renminbi. So the Chinese buyer then can issue their LC in renminbi and they can get a longer credit term, which is more than 90 days, whether it's 180, 360, right? So then, oh, uh, Malaysia will be more competitive because Malaysia will be the only country that is willing to offer longer credit terms uh, to the Chinese buyer, right? So from that point of view, seems like, okay, uh, seems like straight uh, solution, right? Offer sell in renminbi, then you can offer longer credit term. But then the next question is for the Malaysian exporter. Because then the Malaysian exporter, uh, accordingly, they will need liquidity, right? They will need to discount the, 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 the LC that they get, uh, they get from their Chinese buyer. And renminbi discounting, has anyone here ever tried to discount in renminbi? Any, any, anybody ever tried to check with their bank what is their renminbi financing rate? Oh, no one. Oh. Bang Negara could be very upset here. <laughs> okay, <coughs> US dollar financing, yeah, uh, bank cost of fund uh, today for, uh, is around 0.8%, 0 0.6 to 0.8%. Uh, ringgit financing is around 3.6%, right? Well, RMB financing is 4.8%, right? So which Malaysian exporter will want to discount in renminbi? It's even more expensive than your home currency, right? Doesn't make sense. So this is the challenge that we find that basically that's why try to promote uh, renminbi uh, if, if, if this is the situation will, will, will not work. 
because yes, there is an incentive for the Chinese buyer, but there is no incentive for the Malaysian exporter. So what is the solution to this? Uh, we were scratching our head actually uh, quite long time trying to find solution on this. And, and, and luckily then we are experimenting with uh, one of our important customers, Sim Darby, and they are actually uh, quite uh, explorative enough to, to, to try to find the solution. And the solution is actually very simple, right? Uh, do your trade in renminbi, as in sell to your buyer, ask your buyer to issue LC in renminbi. However, discount it in uh, US dollar. But then the next question is who bear the exchange rate risk? Right? Because as soon as you put a hedging element into renminbi uh, to US dollar or to ringgit, then the whole uh, economic then doesn't make sense. It's becoming too expensive. So then uh, this is where, uh, but somehow with the, uh, during the discussion with most of the Chinese buyer, again, until, until the, uh, the renminbi dropping a couple of weeks back, renminbi has always been on the uh, strengthening path. So because of that, most of the Chinese buyer are pretty comfortable taking an open uh, currency risk between renminbi and US dollar. So what we did was simply uh, uh, ask the Chinese buyer to issue the LC in renminbi, 180 days, half years, very good credit, right? To be able to sell and give half year credit term. And then accordingly discounted uh, in US dollar. Of course, in Malaysia with a very uh, competitive uh, US dollar financing rate. And, and, and knowing Sim Darby, they're squeezing us to the bone, right, right Michael? Yes, it's, it's, it's very competitive pricing that we do uh, for the purpose of doing this. So this is the experience that uh, we have uh, so far, trying to promote RMNB while at the same time uh, promoting RMNB uh, with a purpose to tap a bigger market share in China through the ability of providing longer credit term and of course a wider customer base that, that, that can buy in renminbi while at the same time taking care of the uh, exporter uh, uh, concern in Malaysia, which is the financing rate. So that's what I can share uh, today. Perhaps I'll open a Q&A session for this. Again, there will be a Q&A session during the Separate Q&A session. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm done with my presentation. Thank you. Thank you.